Red Hat released Decision Manager 7.0 back in February 2018. Red Hat changed the product's name from Red Hat JBoss BIMS to Red Hat Decision Manager during this release. Many people are still confused by the name change. The objective of this series of videos is to clarify what Decision Manager is and what new capabilities it has over the older JBoss BIMS. In short, Red Hat Decision Manager is a fast, lightweight, cloud-native business rules and decision management platform. You are probably all aware that uh, it's good to separate decision logic from application code. It is good to allow domain experts and business analysts to define decision logics in business terminology and language which is directly executable. And it is good to have high performance and scalability, up to tens of thousands of business rules. Decision Manager provides you with all these capabilities. Let's look at the bigger picture. Decision Manager is one of the products in the JBoss Automation product suite. It provides you with business rules, which you all, you all know, complex event processing, which allows you to correlate events based on time and other criteria to arrive at a consensus or action. It also provides you with business optimization, which is a constrained satisfaction solver, which optimizes resource usage. You can use it, for example, to create a roster based on a set of constraints. Or you can use it to solve logistic problems such as the traveling salesman's problem, just to name a few. It has a breaker brother called Process Automation Manager, which is a superset of Decision Manager, meaning that in addition to having all the capabilities provided by Decision Manager, it also provides you with process management and the Antendo UX platform, which is used to create graph flow finance for your business processes easily using drag and drop without writing any code. More than that, Decision Manager or any of the products in the JBoss Automation product suite, you can deploy them in bare metal, VMs, or in containers running on private, public, or hybrid cloud. I'm going to talk about the new features and notable changes. I have five topics. One, local workbench. By local, I mean that you can do almost everything just by using the graphical user interface provided without writing code. The workbench in Decision Manager is called Decision Central. It has been completely rewritten using the web UI framework called Patentify to allow you with consistent navigation and look and feel. It now has the same look and feel and navigation as all the other Red Hat products, including OpenShift. Freescale API Management Platform. Two, Decision Model and Notation, or DMN. DMN is an OMG standard for decision modeling. Decision Manager 7.0 and 7.1 only provide you with the execution environment. They do not provide you with a graphical DMN editor to create your decision models. It all changed with Decision Manager 7.2. It now provides you with a graphical DMN editor to create your own decision model. I shall give you a demo of this tool in a subsequent video. Three, other notable features, for example, parallel execution, which is not available in the JBoss BIMS. I shall be talking about other features as well. And for some of these features, I shall also give you a demo using the workbench or decision central. Four, Decision Manager is cloud native. What do I mean by that? You will find an answer in a subsequent video. And five, 
Decision Manager provides you with out-of-the-box experience. What do I mean by that? I shall give you an answer in a subsequent video. In the next video, I shall be talking about and giving you a demo on the local workbench, which is Decision Central. Until the next video, thank you and goodbye for now.